Oh, yeah. Pichon, baby. That's a that's a big fish. That's the big mama. That's the big mama. Let it go, let it go. Oh, Barry, that's a big fish. Here we go. Give her a swim. She ain't gonna take much though. She'll be, there you go, she's gone. There you go. Yeah, boy. Right there. G'day folks and welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me again. And thanks to all the new subscribers and of course all the other subscribers on uh, YouTube and followers on Instagram and Facebook. Um, just to let you know, we are on Instagram and Facebook. It's uh, underscore fish on, uh, all lowercase on Instagram and fish on um, on Facebook. Yeah, so thanks once again. In this video, I'm gonna be going to another estuary, um, taking uh, Burry with me this time. Um, he's pretty pumped. He hasn't been for a few months and yeah, he's really looking forward to it. So that should be awesome. Uh, hopefully I'll get him onto a big fish. Uh, we got some pretty big fish last trip up around the 70s and 80s. Um, so I think his PB is about 58. So if I can beat that, I'm happy. I'm planning and hoping that we get him one around the 70 mark. So that'll be awesome. My PB so far is 88 centimeters, which is at Lake Tyres. Um, I haven't really gone out for flathead much, uh, like solely for flathead. I normally catch them in between broom as a bycatch. This trip is mainly focused on flathead, and if I can get one in the 90s, there's gonna be no one happier on the planet than me, so that's gonna be great. Uh, using bigger plastics, I've got a three to five kilo Shimano Raider rod. Um, range of plastics, Z-Man minnows work well. Like I had two colors on last trip and I've still got them on there. That's how tough they are. We caught 40 fish, probably those lures probably caught 15 fish each and they're still as good as when I put them on. I normally put them on the headlocks, um, a three inch plastic on a 2.0 uh, hook jig head and put a bit of super glue um, and that like you you really you can pull that all all you like it's never going to rip it's never going to come off so it's lasted all that trip going to be using it again this trip so see how we go with it i also use zeric flat shads in the four inch um great lure as well not as durable um but i've got a good action coming in a range of colors they're weedless if you dip the um if you put the tip of the hook just in the plastic, just nip it into the plastic and cut that bottom eye off, because I have found that with the bottom eye that you can also attach another treble if you're fishing open areas, uh, that does snag up on weed. So I normally bend it, nip it off with the pliers and um, just push the tip of the hook into the plastic and it's 100% weedless. Um, so yeah, so a bit heavier gear. I've got some light gear, got the brim gear as well, just in case we come across some schools of brim or the brim are firing up. Um, so we've got two rods each, heavy rod for flathead, light rod for brim, that's pretty much it. Um, most of the time soft plastics, if I think it's gonna be fairly breezy on tomorrow, but then the day after is pretty good, so I might try a bit of surface. Um, so yeah, if you are enjoying the videos, please subscribe. Give them all a thumbs up. It inspires me to keep doing more. Um, yeah, thanks for people who comment and great feedback and glad you're really enjoying it. So I, I like making them, you know, it's um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to put yourself out there, but I'm enjoying it. Um, feedback's been great so far. And um, you know, it's, it's a lot of effort. You know, you can just go out fishing and not have to concentrate on cameras and set up and you know, it takes me a day to edit when I get back, put all the videos together and post it on YouTube. So yeah, it's a bit of an effort in a month's work, family and everything else. So um, thanks for everyone who likes it. All right, I'll uh, see you when Burry's here and we're gonna hit the road tonight and sleep in the rooftop tent. And then in the morning, we'll be hopefully smashing some big flat in. All right, once again, thanks for joining us and I'll catch you on the water. See ya. We made it. Highlighting. Pew. <laughs> Set up for the night. What have we got going on? There he's got his swag. Got the table. I've got the roof Taj Mahal. All the gears ready for the morning. Oh, we catch a giant flathead. Out and drive. 
Corona. It's not even beer. A Corona with lemon. Joke. Okay. Any beer you have to add fruit to? It can't be any good. We will see you at the ramp in the morning. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, everybody. We are here. At Berry Boy. At the facilities. When we last launched here, the water was right up to where that dark grey is. So you have to put the boat in just around the corner here. That's it. Whereas now, it's all the way out. You couldn't even access this pontoon. It was cut off by water. So our plan, it's pretty windy. Trees are blowing. So we're not going out on the lake in our little bathtub. So we're going to just go up the river here. Not far. Uh, fish a place I fished last trip with soft plastics and see if we can nail the big flathead. So that's the mission for this trip, big flathead. Get very a PB. I want um, to get one hopefully in 90 centimetres. So let's give it a go. All right, catch you on the water. Okay, cruising up to the first spot. So I'm fishing the electric chicken, Z-Man Slim Swim, three inch minnows. And Barry's gonna start off with the same plastic, but in opening night. So a bright colour and then a natural colour. We'll see what works. So we're just fishing a deep hole with a bit of bait fish. And in front is a, a sand spit and that comes all the way out, halfway out in the water. So we'll fish that later on. Tell you what, you could even beach it there and have a little land base session up there, couldn't you? And, and the honey hole was like, didn't fire really last time until 11 o'clock. Oh, Taylor's on. Taylor just took it at the boat. <laughs> oh, it beat me off. 10 pound litre. You try a slow roll as well. Just um, really, really slowly just wind it across the bottom. That might just not be in a, you know, if it's going across the bottom and slaps him in the side of the head, maybe they'll, oh, there's a Taylor look. I'll just try my unco technique still. Oh, you probably got you probably had it wind nodded for ages, and you know when you cast it off, it went. Whoosh. I did hear a funny noise, but that was definitely a bite as well. So I don't know what was going on. Okay, I've got a fish on. Have you? Yeah. Have you really? I think I have. <laughs> Very hand lighting. I don't know. It just caused funny mess. Oh, it might be the boat going around. You'd, you'd know. You'd know if you had a fish on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you do too. Here you go, you can land it. Here you do. It's a flathead. <laughs> yes! Handlining flathead. Oh, oh he's <laughs> off. <laughs> yes! Handlining flathead. I told you I had a bite. It must be casting forward, so I'm getting absolutely nothing casting backwards. Oh. Fish on! Fish on! Flathead. Keep the line tight. Oh, good fish. Um, You're good. Not doing much. Flat head. Let me get the net available. Oh, he's a good one. He's all right. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it must be stacked up there, mate. Cheese. The fish. Well done, mate. A little flat skull. Ooh, yep. Very boy, at it again. Good one, all little in. Little in. <clears throat> yep. Is that over there? Just lift with the line, not the tip of your rod, she'll break the rod. Going up. How's that? First cast, cast onto that sand hill over there. Zhoot. Taylor, dunk. Yeah. <laughs> like he took off with it. Amazing. Have you been bit off by Taylor yet? You haven't, have you? Uh, something bit me off at the start. Oh, yeah. oh, that would have been the Taylor. 
and then. Oh, you're kidding. Watch the line go to there. Oh, that's a flathead. <laughs> Berry boy. <laughs> He's creaming me. I might have to go back to that light colour. Another one. That's a better one. Yeah. There'll be a uh, there'll be a big one down there, mate, sitting with all these. And you just keep casting and Well done son. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I am. <laughs> nice. Another 40. Well done, mate. Cheers, boy. Getting a bit getting a bit worried now though. So you should be. <laughs> Can I have a lure back? Can I have a lure back? Glad we're catching. Like if both of us weren't catching, you'd be, you know. We've got some footage for the viewers. Burry, the flathead master. That's what it's going to be called. Oh, you are kidding! <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, I'm, I'm loving this. Well, this is good. This, a, this video is not going to make YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what trip? <laughs> yeah, you know, the one where I caught. Oh, that's a good fish, Barry. Go. You work I do? Go. That's a that's a big fish. That's the big mama. That's the big mama. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, Barry, that's a big fish. Here we go. Oh, not too much though. You got that knot though. Don't forget. Just keep that line tight, mate. Oh. Oh no. Is that your knot gone? That was Big Mama. You might have loosened your drag too much. Yeah, and then I turned it, I was like, oh no, I think I turned it the wrong way. And you loosen even more? Yeah. yeah, that's the problem, take the pressure off. So you're on 10 pan, 6 pan and 10 pan, so you should be over here quite tight. Oh, I'm just not getting nothing though. I'm not, not getting rattled, I'm not, not getting... I'm gonna give it more. More of an umph now. So that does. Yep, fish on. Amazing, eh? That is amazing. One one double really good whippy hop and I'm on. That's amazing, eh? Just change like that, bang. Give it a bit more. Brr, brr. That's what I reckon you've been doing. A bit higher, because your rod's your rod's a bit whippier. Quick, get that bastard in the net, Barry. Sausage is off a donut. I love it. Thanks, buddy. There he is, the first one. Bye, mate. Get a clunk in a minute. Bonk. Whip, whip. So you're only doing like a little whip, aren't you? Oh! Yep, that's where they're sitting, right on the edge of that thing. How good is that? Yeah, just keep targeting all along that spit. Like the, this one was right up, right up on there. Whereas my last one was, the bigger one was halfway back. Ooh, this one's having a go. See how your rod went tight? You went slack? Yeah. That's that's bad, very bad. Yeah, I know what it is. I think they're gone. Nah, just, they'll, I just be, they'll be swimming down that thing. Yeah. You're going to lift with the leader or is it too big? Uh, Enjoying yourself? Yeah. Is that seven? That's nine fish already in a couple of hours? Oh, no, I just wrapped it. Oh, six fish, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> In tough conditions, eh? Most people wouldn't even bother fishing, especially soft plastics. 
But that's, a, that's the beauty about, about flathead though. You don't have to be, you know, on the ball like brim. If you miss the bite, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be sitting there. That's a fish cast, big fish cast. Yep, told you it's a fish, didn't I? Not a big one though. Oh, bigger than what I have been catching. Ooh. <laughs> How good's that? Three fish in like 15 minutes. Oh, hang on, it's got bigger. It's got a bit bigger berry. Yeah. Oh, hang on. He is a good one. Oh, he's definitely a better fish. I think he might be. Uh, might be one you're after, Barry. Give me the rod. <laughs> oh, see if I can that just where I had that other big hit. Just that second drop off. Your rod. Imagine that. Whoop. This is a good fish. This is 60. Ooh. Ooh, stop shaking your head. Stop. Is he good? Yeah, I do that, don't I? Oh, mate, that's a bloody ripper. Oh, that's a 70 again. Get him in that net, oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh yeah, boy! Oops, I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was gonna give him a big fish, is that? He's a small one, mate. Oh, that's still the biggest I've seen. Is it? Live, yeah. Yeah, he's got a, yeah, you think the last head was yep. my hand with, he's a 60 something now, might even go 70. Yes! I'll give you this camera. All right. The lucky hat strikes again. Take it back, Lenny. Give her a swim. She ain't gonna take much though. She'll be, there you go, she's gone. There you go. Yeah, boy. Right now. There's your photos. There's your glory. It's my shot. And that'll be a uh, 6 3. Yeah, no, you're catching. Sure, there's another big girl in here. Oh, good one. Right on that drop off, second drop off again. I thought I had a bite just before. No. It might, might go. Mine, mine did nothing and then. Hey. West of Port, Port Phillip, they'll be crying out for them. Ooh. Just gonna lift him with line. Yeah. Done yet? <laughs> oh, thought there's a bite then. Put me right in the other end. Oh, he's a good one. He's a. If you're gonna eat one, you know. Break dance. <laughs> yeah, it's so much harder these little bites. At least he gets to live, mate. His lips hanging out of his head. At least he gets to live. Quick update from Barry. What have we got, Barry? 18. Gotta be 11 <laughs> meat, 7 meat. 18 flathead, 11 berry, 7 meat. Your biggest is bigger than my PB though. 63 centimetres, biggest. What was your one? Biggest? 53? So we're just moving around. It's really windy, probably blowing 40 k's I reckon. Gotta be really careful around here, mate. Alright, we'll see you when we get around the other bit. And yeah, we've had what, 17 fish all up. 18 fish all up, flooded. So, great morning in hard conditions. Catch you in the next spot.
Okay, we're back on film. Quick update, folks. What are we now, Barry? Yeah, you only put the camera back on because you hit the front. <laughs> I've hit the front. Through all odds. 14, 13. 14, 13. Flooded. Oh, it was. So we've got the tide pushing in and all the baits going this way now. So we're fishing a deep hole and there's a few floodies sitting in the middle. Hopefully we can get one or two on film. I reckon about halfway back. Oh, you're going to get snagged on a tree. I reckon about halfway back, it'll go crunch. Told you. Oh go, go, go. Oh, far out. <laughs> Don't go nuts on him. I'll let him off a bit now. Hurry, boy. It's a big fish. Oh, go easy. Yeah, it's all right. Just keep that rod tip tensioned up. Oh, look at him. Heavy? Is it flathead? Oh, really? He's brand. Oh, it isn't he? He's wrapped himself up. Well, I never. <laughs> no, no, it's flat out. Hey. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he bit you off? Yep. There he is. <laughs> See you, eel. I'm going to get him in the net. <laughs> there he goes. <sighs> oh, I thought that was a monster flathead. Because he was kind of giving those head shakes of a yeah. flathead, wasn't he? Sean, but then I saw it up in the air, up in the water over there. I did do that sometimes, but normally not from deep. Not over the camera. Yeah, that's good. It's a good plunk. Plunk. He was sitting where he was meant to be sitting. So thanks, buddy. What is that way? If you get a 90, I'll declare that as a win for you. Right there it was, coming off that spit, bang. Exactly where it was meant to be. Yeah, same. Yep, there's another one. Here we go, Barry, it's on. This is exactly where they're meant to be and what they're doing. See, as soon as that tide's turned around, it's on like Donkey Kong. It's like a, it's like a flick of a switch for them, I reckon. That's alright. If he comes off, he comes off. <laughs> I think they'll just back in there, really, won't they? Oh, <laughs> then, no, it's not. It's terrible. I haven't caught any. Well, let me put it back on. Is it glued or not? No. Let me put it on. You haven't changed colour either. 
You could put a completely different colour on there like I did last time I was here and smack a heap. Yeah, plenty of that. Got him. There you go, I think it's alright mate. There you go, see? They're just filtering out of here now. I'll never come back from here. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're a nubbin. Oh no, real ray of sunshine.